how today we're going to be installing a new um, garbage disposal. I uh, woke up this morning, wife did, and there's water on the floor by the sink, and yes, there's water leaking out of the bottom of the garbage disposal by the electrical stuff. I am assuming that's time to throw away the old one and get a new one, even though that one wasn't old. I might check that one later, see if it's a seal or something got broken, but... So that last one was a badger and sinker baby one. We're gonna go ahead and go with a moan this time, because that one didn't seem to last very long. Not sure why. So here we go with that new moan. It's got a plug attachment here, and that's good, because those last ones I had are pretty uh, jacked up. Okay, what else we got here? Let's see, we're gonna pull this stuff out of here. This is a Lone GX 50 <coughs> horsepower Vortex. It's more loaders, got the stainless steel teeth and all that junk. Um, so, so, it's got everything included in here. So, we're gonna go ahead and pull this thing out. <sighs> So I think I can just use the easy on, easy off thing here to just put this part right up against the bottom where it already is. So I think I just tear this cardboard off maybe. I guess. Okay. And now, oh great, this has a plug in. Okay. Do I even have a plug? Hold on. Minute focus. I had to hardwire the hardware though. Or this was just I just had wires come out of the wall that went into the bottom of the last one. Hold on a second, I'm gonna check and see if I gotta cover this. Okay, back cool. It turns out I do have a plug-in. Handy dandy plug in it's close. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try and install this thing real quick. Hopefully the connections are similar with my uh, last hookup and I won't have to do a bunch of plumbing and stuff. That would really suck. Okay, anyway, here's what we're looking at under our seat. So, there's a, uh, some wiring and stuff coming out of there. I might have to just cap that, obviously. Anyway, um, so, Hopefully, we've got our pipe right here to go out of that. Hopefully, it'll just come up and attach into that one like you're supposed to. And then the side discharge should be over here. And I'm really hoping that fits. Otherwise, that would really suck. Um, we've got the new attachment part here. I think I will use that. Hopefully it'll just go right under here and come up over here. Hopefully they will be compatible. It's nice when stuff is compatible and works from the old thing you had. I'm, not, I'm opening this, sorry. I'm opening the bag. Okay. So I got those pieces out, throwing the bag away. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do is this comes on there like this, and then the screws. Hopefully, so hopefully they'll go into the side here. This will attach here, screw in. Hopefully, those will both go right into there. I'm hoping. These would be nice. Then, oh great! Oh, that's awesome. This cord doesn't look like it's long enough. Oh! <laughs> oh, that figures. Unbelievable. Well, we'll have to deal with that later. Anyway, this. 
hopefully we'll just go right up into there. And uh, so I think the easiest way to do this is hold it from the bottom and then uh, push it up in there. Okay, it looks like the connection is going to be roughly the same, so I'm going to pull this out of there. Hopefully. Ah! Okay. Watch out for the dirty water. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to push this up into here. And try and make sure that the connections on this side will line up to that pipe there. Okay. So holding it with one arm, so you can kind of balance it, you kind of push it up in there. And then these, we got the little grooves that kind of go up, it's like threaded. So you grab this collar here, bring it up. <laughs> Sometimes an extra arm is good here. Um, I, okay. So. Push it up in there. Bring these, uh, bring the collar up. You want to pour all the way around it, and then, if you can, grab the whole thing and pull it up uniformly. Make sure you do. Make it easier. It's hard to grab the whole thing. Actually. A little bit on the difficult side to grab the whole thing because I'm trying to grab the, the collar uniformly and pull it up, and it's like, you know what? Hold on, folks. I'm gonna move your viewing angle here whilst I try something. <coughs> Hold on. Okay. So I'm gonna put you guys over here. I'm going to try and just use both hands. Uh, you can still see. Yeah. Okay, so oops, I'm going to grab both hands, grab the collar with both hands, and bring it up together, just holding onto the collar, hopefully. So here we go. Maybe use my foot here to kind of get underneath there a little bit. So I just want to get the collar lined up and then uh, I think I had, oh, thought I had it. I want that to be lined up there though. So definitely want this to be lined up with my pipe here. Okay, so then so when I lift it up there I want that to be okay so I've got the collar lifting Turning. I think I'm on there. So I think. Seems like I am. Okay, so that kind of worked. Take uh, both hands, grab two sides of the collar, line it up with the the. You'll see the grooves that kind of angle up on the quick release thing. I'll just double check that I got the back one here. If I can get my head back in there to see. <laughs> I don't know if I can or not. Get a mirror real quick. Hold on a second. Okay, we're back. So yeah, had this handy dandy little mirror. It's got a it's like a mirror with a light on it. And uh oops. now I can't turn the light off. Oh. Yeah, it has a little switch here. So uh yeah, I was able to look around the back side of this with the mirror and see, yes, it is attached over there, so, I think. Okay, yeah, it's on there. And this one's on there, and that one's on there, so yes. This mirror is a pretty good idea, it has a little light on it, but sometimes when you're trying to look into the mirror, you see the light, and it hurts your eyes, and blah blah blah. Anyway. Okay, so now, I think this is lined up with our pipe here. 
And then we're just going to tighten this right here, this collar, just by uh, kind of just like rotating it. Arr. Arr, arr, arr. And then, uh, hopefully the unit's not moving too much. Okay. So, next, take the collar here. Really hope that we don't have to do any adjustments, but it looks like we're gonna have to because it looks like that pipe's gonna be too long. So I'm gonna have to put that in there. And then I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to cut the pipe. Looks like take about a half inch off it. So I'm gonna get a pipe cutting tool, cut the bottom of this pipe real quick. Hold on, we'll be right back. All right, so we're back. We got this handy dandy PVC pipe cutter here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take off, hopefully, take off about a half inch here. Just rotating, inch a little tighter. Rotate, it just kind of cuts. Oops. Cut a little bit more, rotate. A little bit deeper. Keep rotating. And I'm really butchering this cut here. Oh, come on. I'm close to getting through. Perhaps. <sighs> Hopefully, it's not going to crack this pipe. Come on. Oh my goodness. Wow. Just mangled this pipe with this thing. I don't know why, but for some reason, I think that this isn't because it's not PVC. We're gonna hacksaw it, we'll be back. All right, so we went ahead and just cut that off with a saw. <laughs> okay, so we got this part here back on there. I'm really hoping I don't have to change my pipes and all that other stuff to get this to fit. That'd be nice, so here we go. This goes in here, I can unscrew this a little bit. It's supposed to tighten down onto it. So, screw this part here, put that into there, oh, come on, get the seal to go on there, okay, so the seal fits over that and then that goes on to there and that screws down on top of that, so I'm going to wipe that crud, there's some crud there, I'm going to wipe it with a paper towel, we'll be right back. Okay, folks, so we're back. So we got this, that seems to be fitting in there pretty good. Um, let me get you another angle here. Sorry about that. Moving you around like that. Okay. So yeah. So we got this plugged into there and it's the, the gasket seemed to go in there pretty good. So we got this piece here. We'll push up into there, and we have the two screws that came with it. And then this will um, screw down onto here and tighten that. If if you have problems with the water leaking later, get some. Um, oh my goodness, what's it called? It's like that nylon tape, plumber's tape, and put it around here around the seal and then then screw that down. I've, I've had to do that a couple times. It seems to work pretty good though. So then I just need to screw this in. And hopefully it'll hold the seal in there nice. So I just want there you go. Hopefully this is a Phillips head here. Where's my screwdriver? Why is it hiding from me? Hold on, folks. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. 
Yeah, my screwdriver was right hiding in plain sight. So, put this on here. So, I think I'll start in both. Put the other one through there. Can't see what I'm doing. So, just kind of screwing this one in there. Okay, then I'll kind of hand tighten one side. Tighten the other, and then make it uniform as we screw it in there, I guess. So, just hand tightening, hand tightening. Okay, now, I have to go back in there for a better angle here. Kind of tight. Okay. Alright, so. Tightening this one. Tightening this one some more. This one some more. Tightening this one some more. Tightening. Ow! Hitting my head. I'm gonna get a longer screwed screwdriver bit. That one's kind of binding a little bit on the pipe there. Hold on a second. Oh, right. She took it. If you left on the table, she took yours. That's why I'm giving you another one. Uh, another screwdriver. Uh, 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 uh. No, 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 no. It's for, um... Electrical. Yeah. I'm not sure how tight. I'm supposed to tighten this. So. <laughs> Decently tight. Okay. I'm not holding that good. Last oh. one. Barely got out of there. Had to use some vice grips. Okay. So this, then we'll tighten this down. There, go to there. Now we hook up our um, the water line from the dishwasher. So hopefully, I don't know what we got going on there. Um, but I got the little where I put my clamp thing. Got my clamp thing here. Bring that up there. Yeah, it's not the best place to keep it. That's all? Yes. Okay. So, uh, yeah. push that in there. And it's flush mm -hmm. with that, so then I'm just going to go ahead and tighten uh, this clamp thing. Whatever the heck you call it. <laughs> clamp thing sounds like the technical term. Okay, hopefully I don't have to get another screwdriver. I'll try and use a short one here. And uh, secure this clamp thing. Just by tightening it here. Man, I think I'm almost done, folks. Installing this thing, we got to obviously test the water. Make sure it's not leaking or anywhere. Hopefully, that would be nice. Leaks really suck. Okay, that's clamped on there pretty good. I don't think it's going anywhere. <clears throat> now, now, so that's looking okay. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and 
tighten that a little bit more. And uh, what you can do is pull on it, like tap another side. There we go. So you don't want that to pop out of there. So these little things here, I think you can also put like a screwdriver or something through these rings and push it, but I don't think that's going anywhere. Right now, the plug-in is not gonna be long enough to reach my plug-in. I might just move. I don't know. Shoot, plug-in is not in a good spot here in my kitchen, unfortunately. Otherwise, it would have been just a real handy. Just plug it right in. I don't think I'm gonna get away with that, of course, because that'd be too easy. But I do want to see turn the water on make sure this thing isn't leaking so we're gonna test that and we'll be right back all right folks apparently I didn't remove this thing first I guess uh kind of want to put this mowing thing on there so it looks kind of nice and has a nice stopper so I want to put that in up in there so what you do wait just unscrew this Hold on, let me figure out how to get this thing off of there. Okay, so it says, um, in order to take this thing off, <coughs> loosen the mounting screws. So these three, there's three screws here. So it says to loosen those until you can push this up. Okay, so it looks like you can now move it up a little bit. And I'll, okay, I'll loosen those some more. And then you can move that up a little bit. You can see, um, oh, plumbers, ancient plumber's putty coming up. Now you can see there's like a snap ring thing here or something. It says, uh, use a flatbed screwdriver under one end of the snap ring to remove it from the sink flange. Okay, so. I'm thinking of this thing here. I can get a hold of it. So the snap ring come out. This thing falls down. That's the old one. <coughs> Move the mounting ring, backup, flange, and fiber gasket from the sink flange. No, come on. Mm. <coughs> Hum. Let's see here. So I'm thinking it's got like that and there's a bunch of plumbers putty there hold on this thing is supposed to come out i think yeah it's just got a bunch of plumbers putty there so i'm gonna pull that off that flange comes down then uh the seal here uh, and a lot of plumbers putty Okay. Then I think this. Then, the, then I can push that up through the top. And there we go. That's all done. Um, I think I'm gonna vacuum that up real quick. Hold on, we'll be right back. Okay, so we went ahead and just cleaned all that plumber's putty up and stuff. Now we got our assembly. I'm, ass I'm assuming it goes on the same way. So. Uh, what we're gonna do is uh, pull out our stopper here. Then we're gonna go ahead and loosen um, <coughs> loosen these. I think it's, I'm just assuming it's gonna be the same order. So loosen these enough to where I can undo the clamp.
they do recommend plumber's putty, so I'm gonna have to round some of that up, and we think I have some somewhere. Okay, so loosen that. And I'm assuming we take this little ring off here. You can see that right, right uh, there. Take that ring off, get a screwdriver under it. There we go. Just kind of pop it off there like that. Okay. okay, so we got that. Take That means we can take this off. Huh? Then uh, we have the little, this part here. And then we have the, the I don't know, what, whatever you call it. And then the gasket there. And it says when you're doing this, uh, step three, optional flange alignment for your convenience front stick on. Fan most common logo placement drain flange of sink. Clean the area around the sink drain where the disposal is mounted evenly. Apply a one half inch thick rope of plumber sealant and sink flange around the sink flange. Okay, so that would be. <coughs> Sorry, look at these directions here. They want. It's got a. Then position the sink flange B in the center of the sink drain opening. Push the sink down firmly to make the seal. No excess sealant will be squeezed out during the installation. It should not. It should not be cleaned up until the safe. Do not move or rotate sink flange once you see a seal. No. Some sink manufacturers recommend non-standing plumber sealant shaker. See. So <coughs> then uh, reassemble the fiber gasket C backup flange D and mounting with angle screws. Okay, so. This is the backup fibers. Okay, so I need some plumbers. Hold plumbers, buddy. We'll be right back. All right, so we found some plumbers, buddy. Here. And it's like silly, buddy. So taking it. it says roll a. Uh, hold on a second. Optional. Okay, evenly apply one half inch thick rope of plumber sealant around the flange. So one half inch thick. It's pretty thick. It's roughly, <laughs> I guess, about that size. Okay, so apply that around the base of that there. So go. I think I eyeballed it, but it looks looks about right there. Seems like a lot, but I don't know. Let's see what happens, I guess, huh? Okay, so now it says. Uh, then it says, push the sink flange in the center of the sink opening, push the sink flange firmly on to make a good seal. No excess sealant will be squeezed out during this installation. It should not be cleaned up until installation is complete. Do not move or rotate sink flange once seated. Okay, so taking that, it has a little uh, thing on it that says the front right here. So we're going to go ahead and put that in to the sink right here. And press it down. Pressing it down. <coughs> Easily. Trying to use all fingers at once. Okay, I think that's in the correct spot. Now. Now it says, uh, and there's some putty coming down from there, you can see that. Okay, now it says, position sink flange above the center of the sink flange, I know when you push the sink flange down firmly, make a good seal, uh, excess seal, okay. Now it says, uh, reassemble fiberglass gasket. Okay, so that'd be this here. So that goes up next. Uh, backup flange, so that would be this guy here and then the mounting ring and screws from underneath the sink place fiber gas at backup flange and then the mounting ring under the flange in this order okay so that 
this is there. And put that quick gasket there. So it's sealed right there. Right. Move you a little bit closer. All right. Sorry about this. Okay. So, there you go. So, now you can see. The backup flange, the <laughs> mounting ring. Hold on, gasket is this, backup flange is this. Backup flange, mounting ring, and screws. Oh, fiber gasket, backup plan, mounting ring. Okay. And screws. So this goes there like. Like this here. Using a towel and the sink to prevent scratching, place a weight for your old garbage disposal on the sink flange to hold in place until the sink flange is somebody secured. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna wait to hold that down while I do this. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, so I had a nice weight to put up there, so I did that. It says you can use the old garbage disposal as a weight, but I had a burly weight that I could use. So then it says, Use a towel on the sink to prevent scratching. Place a weight in your, or your old garbage disposal on the sink flange to hold it in place. Until the sink flange assembly is secured from the underside of the sink. Holding all three parts against the sink. Pull the snap ring. Open and press firmly into the groove in the sink. It all snaps into place. Okay, so that is still there. This goes here. Then this goes up here, and then making sure these are all up there. Then we place the snap ring up there. Trying. Let's see here. Okay, so holding that while doing the snap ring. Push it up into place there, it's done. Okay, <coughs> so now this is, okay. Uh, failure to seats, the group will prevent proper insulation. Well, I'm pretty sure that's in there. Seems like it is, yes it is, okay. Now it says, tighten all three screws evenly and firmly against the backup flange. Do not over tighten, trim off excess sealant in the sink. Okay, so now I can tighten these up. Against the sink top there. And that'll push that plumber's putty and the sealant all up there, making a nice seal. Okay, so screwdriver. Kind of doing one at a time. A little over here, a little over here, a little over here. Some more over here. 
Let's move it over here. This is do not over tighten. I'm not sure how tight it's supposed to be. Should be tightened down uniformly, I'm assuming so. Okay. Well, do not over tighten. That feels pretty good, and I got the plumber's putty coming down all through here. I'm gonna do a little bit more. Like a half turn more, I think. Okay, I'm gonna call that good enough. That's seated, then it says uh, tighten all three so not used evenly and firmly against the backup flange. Do not over tighten. Trim off excess sealant in the sink. Okay. <coughs> so let's see what the sink looks like. Oh, I got this giant weight here. Hold on a second. Let's get that other. Oh, heavy. Okay, there's my excess sealant. Can't see it. So all that stuff come around there, so I'll just, uh, just trim that off. So I will clear that out of the way. Hold on a second. First I'm going to put this weight out in the garage. It's sinking heavy. Okay, so we're back. We're just going to go ahead and pull the rest of that plumber's putty out of there. Just kind of roll it in up. And it seems to come out pretty easy. Sorry, can't really see that, but just kind of rolling it up. <coughs> okay. Okay, so I think I clean it up. I think I can put the excess plumber's putty back into my handy dandy jar, I believe. And now, now. I think we got our, our, now that we got our ring in there and all that, now we can go ahead and do the thing I did at first <laughs> and show you that install. So, um, so we pretty much know how to do it now. Um, we're going to go ahead and hook that back up to there, put those into the rings, tighten the ring around, have that little downspout, screw that in like we did before and all that. So, and then if you have a plug in in the proper location. It's just a simple matter just plugging that in. We don't, of course, so I'm gonna have to do that, but you don't need to see that. Most people won't encounter that. So thanks for watching everyone. That's the complete install. Sorry I did it backwards. I'll write a note in the comment section so you can see that what I did backwards. So anyway, that's for the Moen GX fifty C one half horsepower um, garbage disposal. Thanks for watching. Hope that helped everyone out there. I hadn't changed the little gasket and all that before but uh since i went to a different uh, garbage hole a, a moan from the from the other one i um, went ahead and changed that it looks pretty nice it's got a nice stopper too it's a pretty fancy looking moan stopper here so yeah anyway that's the end of that hope it helps have a great day out there everyone thanks for watching